Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over the Shopify app billing cycle, explaining the different types of charges, how they work, and how it's going to impact your own Shopify store, as you're probably interested in downloading different apps or installing different apps on your Shopify store, but you're a little curious on how the billing cycle works. So don't worry, I'll explain the full process in this video. Before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your business with real-time calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how your store is performing. You're also gonna get a ton of different detailed analytics so you can really understand your store's true performance. There's a link in the description to access a 15 day free trial. And I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Now let's dive into the types of app charges. I'll be using Shopify's resource here to give you a full explanation. So there are gonna be four different types of charges. You have your subscription charges, your app usage charges, your one-time app purchases, and your application credits. So mainly you're gonna look at the top three here. One-time app purchases are more self-explanatory. It's like buying any item, you buy it once, you get to use it forever. You're gonna have subscription charges. So it's gonna be similar to your Netflix bill. We're gonna be paying for this application on a monthly basis, whereas app usage charges are gonna be based on some type of metric. So some analytics apps will sync in orders. So it could be for how many orders are synced in, or if it's using products as the metric there, it could be how many products your store has. It's gonna charge based on that. The Shopify app store does a really good job at clarifying these different types of charges though. So you have a clear understanding on how they're gonna work before you install the app. If we take a look at an app listing here, this is a smart search product filter. You can see these are gonna be subscription plans. You can see $19 a month, 29 a month, or 69 a month. And so with each type of plan, you're gonna get different features here. And they're gonna have a list here of how many products you can sync before you have to upgrade. So it will look a little similar to an app usage charge as we're basing on products, but they'll actually bump you up to a higher tier. I do believe you have to accept that as well before you get bumped up. Now in terms of how you pay for your apps on your Shopify store, it's gonna be billed to your credit card through the same method as your Shopify plan. So if you're paying $29 a month for your Shopify plan, it's gonna be included into that charge. And you'll be able to view this all in your Shopify store as well on your invoice. The app billing works, it's gonna be interplayed into your Shopify billing cycle. So we can see from this diagram here, you're gonna pay for the month, get 30 days to use it. And after that 30 days expires, you're gonna pay for the second month and then so on and so forth. For the app billing cycle, it's gonna be put in on an own 30 day billing cycle, depending on the plan. Most of them are monthly. It's used for both reoccurring pricing plan, so your subscription charges, as well as your usage pricing plan. The reoccurring app charges are billed with the next 30 day invoice. So in this example here in the screenshot, the bill on May 5th includes the app subscription that overlaps from April 20th to May 20th. The bill on June 4th similarly includes the app subscription from May 20th to June 19th, since May has 31 days. You can see the billing cycle for the app started within this April period, but since you were already billed on the first month payment on April the 5th, it's not gonna get included until the May 5th charge goes through on your Shopify store. In terms of canceling any billings for the apps you install, you're gonna have to remove those apps from your Shopify store, and this will then cancel the billing cycle for that app. Even though they are all billed together, the billing charge cycle is gonna be a separate subscription that you are paying for. Something to note is that if you pause, you should still consider uninstalling any third-party apps that have recurring charges so you're not billed for these apps after you pause your store. Also, if your Shopify account gets frozen or deactivated for any reason, it's gonna freeze both your account and your reoccurring app charges or your app charges and if your payments go through again and your store gets reopened or activated, Shopify is gonna unfreeze your account and your recurring app charges are then going to resume. If you're looking to uninstall your apps, you simply have to log into your Shopify dashboard here, head to settings in the bottom left. Once that loads, you're going into apps and sales channels, and then you wanna click uninstall. Once you hit uninstall, you're gonna delete this app as well. So once you uninstall the app, that should cancel your subscription there. Something to note about uninstalling these apps is that reoccurring app charges are generated the first time an app charge is approved 
approved than on the first day of an app's billing cycle. So because of this, a charge will appear on your bill even if you uninstall an app only a day or two after you uninstall it. So if you do this, you will get charged for the full period, but typically if you go and ask for a refund, most apps will give you a refund as you only used it for a few days, though it is up to the app's discretion. So this is gonna conclude the video on the Shopify app billing cycle. I hope you have a better understanding of it now that this video has concluded. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I wanna mention Profit Calc one more time the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial, so make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.